Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Unhinged Curtis Price channel, the channel that offers controversy without the depression. And in today's video, we will indeed be talking about Harley Quinn's sister, Shannon Quinn. Oh boy, yes. That is the level of today's video. But this will actually be my second video on the creep show art. So for those of you unloyal pigs who didn't see my last video, let me give you an exact rundown of who Shannon, aka creep show art, is. Pigs are my favorite kind of animal, by the way. Please don't unsubscribe. She is a woman of many faces, a backstabber, a liar, a stalker, etc. Now what makes her these things? Well, her posting on lolcow under an anonymous account hidden on creators. Meanwhile, brown knows in them on YouTube, which makes her two-faced. Oh, I love the smell of big YouTuber asshole. Also speaking badly upon some of her closest friends, which make her a backstabber. Her claiming on her Instagram stories that she was being stalked when she was not, which makes her a liar. And finally, it turns out her claim of being stalked was actually her and her husband stalking Emily Atfull who is Shannon's husband's ex-girlfriend. And he did very bad things to her, which left her traumatized. Great, I can't believe my biggest idol has been cancelled. Damn it. My favourite part was always the bit where she commented over other people's drawings. But ladies and gentlemen, you might be asking, well, what is happening now? Well, me personally, I'm trying to hit 100k before I go homeless. Uh, if you respect me, then you'll subscribe. So if you could subscribe, ladies and gentlemen, and like the video and comment for the algorithm so I can finally prove to my mother that I am an actual YouTuber, not one of these plastic ones. Please. So subscribe, alright? Alright. Shannon's voice notes have indeed been leaked, and apparently Shannon is best friends with Gabby Hanna. Uh, shoot. Uh, shoot. Come on, get away. And these voice notes, ladies and gentlemen, was indeed leaked by a former friend of Creepshow Watts known as Camilla. And in these voice notes, she had a lot to say. In these voice notes, she spoke about Gabby Hanna, Rachel Oates, Ready to Glare, and many other creators. But ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's jump straight into the first segment of today's video. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the exact same place as it was before. Uh, so, yeah, let's take a look at these voice notes. Dude, it's about to get worse. Legit. Gabby Hanna's my number, has low-key threatened me before, so I'm not interested in getting more shit from her. But she has hours of videos ready to drop. Holy shit. Dude, it's insane. What else is happening? I thought this was it. The Jimmy Snow tweets. I don't know anything about this. Okay, creep show art. More like freak show. That this isn't my art. <laughs> Why did I write that down? Well, oh, I don't know anything about that. But she did because she sent a voice note three minutes later explaining the entire situation. Why? Most contradictors and liars are smart. You aren't one of those, Shannon. Most melt under pressure, as you will see later on when Officer Dong pays a visit. Now, as I said, Shannon claims to not know anything about the Jimmy Snow situation. Then why send a voice note explaining the situation that apparently you don't know anything about? Let's take a look at these voice notes. As far as I'm aware, I don't know if Jimmy has talked about this because Jimmy told me when that was occurring, Gabby never told him to do anything. Gabby literally just said, yeah, it hurt my feelings. And in my experience, like I never reach out to the person and say like, take the video down, it hurt her feelings. So as far as I'm aware, her and Jimmy were already friends and Gabby like just mentioned it. And then Jimmy like white knighted for Gabby. Now, most of you may be confused. Is it just me? So basically, this is referring to the Rachel Oates and Gabby Hanna drama, which if you don't know, Gabby asked Rachel to critique Gabby's poetry, and Rachel critiqued it, which then resulted in Gabby Hanna throwing her toys out the pram and claiming that she only takes advice from smart people. Then why send the book in the first place? You're not a sharper shed in the tomb now, are you? Oh god, neither am I. So then Gabby messaged Jimmy Snow, who is another YouTuber with 365k, and Jimmy Snow basically defended Gabby, which resulted in people calling him three Gabbies in a trench coat. That's a lot of Gabbies. <laughs> Just three mini Gabbies stacked on top of each other with a big trench coat on. You know, pretending to be an adult because she acts like a child. You get it, right, guys? You get my joke? <laughs> Once Jimmy defended Gabby, Rachel made a tweet claiming that Gabby reached out to the only person who was mutual friends with Rachel, aka Jimmy Snow. Which then led Creepshow Art to do this. Also, like, it was also really weird because she, Rachel, I mean, went on Twitter right after and was saying like, oh, Gabby did all this stuff. She's trying to take the video down. She's trying to attack me. And I reached out and I was like, hey, she essentially said, Gabby reached out to the only person that knows me and uh, is trying to get my friends to turn on me and she's doing all this stuff. And I saw that and I was just like, hey, I, that's not true because like you and me also talk. I, I'm not say, saying this with any hate, but like, I'm just saying like, Gabby didn't do that. And then she was like, we're not friends. We never were, like, she started saying all this stuff and I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. Um, again, I wasn't sending her hate. So you do know about the Jimmy Snow situation? S thought you said you didn't. Oh, damn it, Shannon! You got us again! And this time we really did believe you. 
We really did. But as you just heard, ladies and gentlemen, Shannon's upset because Rachel didn't call her a friend. <gasps> Oh no. Shannon assumed she was friends with Rachel because of the DMs they shared on two different occasions. That makes people friends, apparently. Well, if that's how friendship works, suck on these nuts, Shannon. Rachel ought to subscribe to me. That makes us friends, right? She, she kindly subscribed to me. Yeah, I know. Don't worry, Rachel. I'm subscribed to you too. Following these voice notes being leaked, Rachel left a comment on Camilla's video. It's so weird to hear how Shannon thought we were friends slash got annoyed over me saying we weren't. We exchanged about 10 messages on two occasions over Instagram. I sent her a super chat in a live stream once and gave her a shout out in a video when her channel was still small. I'm pretty sure that's it. I liked her as a content creator and we spoke less than a handful of occasions, but that's not friendship to me. That's an acquaintance or a colleague maybe. I have YouTubers I'm friends with and they are people I chat a lot to and spend time with in person or video chat with them. But that's not something that grows over months, not from two Instagram conversations. So as we can see, ladies and gentlemen, Rachel claims to not be friends with Shannon, even though Shannon thought they were friends. Uh, Gabby Hanna vibes right now. And the funniest part about all this is that Shannon and Kripshawat were actually friends, even though Shannon badmouthed Gabby behind her, behind her back. And Shanna said they were actually pretty good, even though later in the voice notes she said that she doesn't support anything that Gabby's doing now. Oh boy, this is too much. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Officer Dong has not been seen in months, and now he's come to collect what's rightfully his. It just had to spin to commentary videos, I think, and it's always better than just boringly sitting down and talking shit. <laughs> kind of like Shannon. So let's head straight on to Detective Officer Dong. Officer Julie, I've arrived at our destination. It's time to put these motherfucking assholes down. Hello, asshole. You're going straight to county jail, dick breath. Hello. Shannon, come out and play. Hello. You in here? Oh, you anywhere around these? Officer Dong's here to beat your dick off. <laughs> Officer Dong wins today. Officer Julie, I found Shannon's hideout. I could tell by the stink. There must be some files here we can use. Something for evidence. This motherfucker is not innocent. Shannon, oh Shannon, what do we have here, dick breath? Oh, oh, sh 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 oh, what's that, huh? You wanna know what that is? That's what you call a mobile phone, asshole. It smells like one, feels like one, tastes like one. Where's my walkie talkie? Officer Julie, I have a phone. Seems to be cracked. Not much use to us. Perhaps I could bring it back to the station, investigate this shit. Just as I said, Shannon. Officer Dong wins today. Good evening, miss. You have any idea why I pulled you over tonight? That's right. For being a two-faced liar, you filthy animal. So welcome to the station. My name is Detective Officer Dong, Chief Constable at Sucking Cock. So as we run through these statements, it does seem as if Shannon believes she can buy friends with money, or at least a transaction has to be completed before someone becomes friends with her. So here's a tip from an officer who has experience with tips. You can't buy friends, asshole. Now as we were saying, Shannon actually donated money to a YouTuber known as Tipster. And this YouTuber made a video on her, and he was actually a very nice man. However, Shannon is a horrible cow. Shannon weaponized her donation as a way to make Tipster feel like he owes her something. And she even donated to Camilla. 
the YouTuber who released the voice notes. And perhaps she uses her donations as a way to manipulate people. A way to market herself. A way to get people to side with her. Oh, I, I donated to you. If, if I donated to you, that means that you gotta side with me, even if I am some sort of freak. Now let's look how Shannon tried to manipulate Tipster, and how she failed. Horribly. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at these filthy DMs. By the way, this is the comment you got triggered by, lol. Why did you delete all your videos and rename the channel? So if you don't know what he's referring to here, he's actually talking about Shannon's husband, the person who done something very bad to Emily Artful. Once everything was exposed, Shannon's husband allegedly changed the name of his channel to something else so he couldn't be detected on YouTube, so that all of the cancel culture couldn't find him. And that, of course, triggered our lovely Shannon. And you'll see, ladies and gentlemen, Shannon uses anything she can to weaponize in her conversations. Shannon will use absolutely anything to get her insurance. I don't know if you are reading the messages here, and yes, I have been publicly critical of you and stand by what I said, but I am still here if you need to talk. You want me to talk to you after you commented on my husband's channel because of a probable false accusation? Really? You thought that was smart. Okay, I see how this is gonna be. Goodbye, Shannon. Have a nice life. Oh my god, really? You fold that easy? You're genuinely weaker will than I thought. Boo-hoo, Shannon. Didn't immediately talk to me when I wanted her to. Despite me going after her husband's publicly over claims that aren't true. And it's so easily proven fake. Cry more. Literally. Like the time you cried on stream because I donated money to you and you literally said if I was in drama you'd respect me because I tell you to stay out of it. So dumb. Whatever. You didn't even have the balls to ask questions. Oh, I donated to you on live and, and you cried about it. As I said, I, I donated to you. No one gives a fuck, you asshole. You only do good things because you expect things in return. That's not a kind person. That is what you call... A dick breath. <laughs> what we have learned about Shannon, ladies and gentlemen, is that she does use anything she can as insurance as a way to cower people into hiding. If she has donated to you in the past, you cannot say a single bad thing about her. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed this Officer Dong segment. And with that said, let's get into a new thing that I've released. Not his best bits. Best bits! Best bits. Hey guys, I'm back, and I'm just with a different background, with like the microphone right there. Hope you guys like it, uh, don't really care if you don't, to be honest. But these are just the extra bits on the end, and you might click off and I'll say, no, this isn't very interesting, it's just the extra bits. Uh, no, it's still good bits, it's like the bits that were so good, I had to keep them till the end. Check this magnificent shit out. I remember earlier on when we were talking and we were saying how she tries to buy people, like kind of, she tries to make friends with money. Uh, well, listen to this. And her friend made like a video calling me a bitch and a c and all this stuff. And Rachel supported the video. And I was just like, what the hell? I like bought your dog poetry book and I bought like, I've been a f like, we've talked before. So I don't know what you're doing. It was just very weird. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, she bought Rachel's book and that makes them friends. Yeah, well, I bought Mr. Beast Burger once and now we're the bestest of friends. I can even prove it. Watch, I'll call him right now. Answer the phone, Jimmy, come on. Hello? Nan, it's you. It's me. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, shit. You told me you were me back? Pretend to be Mr. Beast. <laughs> you were me back? But as you can see, as Officer Dong mentioned, she just weaponizes everything. It's as if she only does good things just to receive something back. Just because you bought someone's book doesn't make you their friends. They don't owe you anything. They literally owe you nothing. Best bits! Best bits! So Creepshow Art's anger fuel content. For a while now, Gwen Shannon posts videos, she's very angry in them. Like, she's always got something negative to say about people. Even though I do commentary videos, I'm not negative about everyone. I love you, Gabby, really. Took a lot to admit there. And the best part about all of this is, if you listen to her exposed voice notes, you will literally see that she can't go five seconds without mentioning something negative about someone. I hate everything. She was you know, using me, which is fine. <laughs> like, I, I don't know why I expected more of her. You have to remember, like, when Gabby blew up, she blew up from Vine, which is, like, the most low-effort content in the world. Like, if you watch what got her to where she is now, what gave her her millions, it's, like, really shit comedy. But then Hello Leash got involved, and that girl is f***ing weird. And this happens when someone has a lot of anger built up inside of them. They just need to unleash it. So they unleash it on anyone. Whoever's there in that in that moment. To do with Camilla's voice notes, I mean, apparently Creep Shot was lying to Camilla behind her back as well. She's been lying to everyone. Are we surprised? Yeah? 
No, I don't want to deep this too much, but um, I haven't exactly been performing the best on YouTube recently. I uh, don't want to deep it because I'll always make videos no matter what. But if you guys did watch to this point, I love you a lot. And if you are new and you're watching to this point, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Um, views aren't the best at the moment for some reason. Um, I think it's because I don't upload enough. But I know we're going to make it. We're going to make it to 100k and we're going to look back on this moment. And it's going to show that I won. And it's what we're going to do. And I want to post other kinds of content too, which I'm going to build into eventually. Like really big videos, not like sit down videos. Big videos that I can edit extremely well. Um, and I've got big plans for those. And honestly, I just couldn't imagine doing anything else on earth than what I'm doing. And the only way I can keep doing this and keep living where I am and keep, you know, being able to afford my editing softwares and the editing uh, things I use is if videos are performing well. Because that's how much, that's how I get paid every month. So if you guys would like to support me, thank you and just keep watching my videos. Without you guys, wouldn't be able to do this. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.